morning guys. I'm back in the 62 pickup from the Murphy Museum because today, this morning, we're taking it back to the museum. Kathy's in front of me in the Chevy Cruze. The little foggy, salty morning here in Malibu. Looks like a Lamborghini passing me right there. Two of them. About an hour's drive up to the Murphy. Gotta grab some gas really quick. They might have something cool up there, something new. We'll take a look. Of course, take you guys with us. was a fun truck. That was awesome. But how about this? <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, this is Mike. Uh, he is the Murphy mechanic um, a la mode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you guys have a huge Suburban that's back here that's pretty awesome. This 52 Chevy. Yeah. So this lady's uncle upstate New York somehow had a dealership I'm not sure about that part okay had this Woody sent out to whoever did him Dodge and Chevrolet did outsourcing for their Woody's right Ford had theirs built in shop oh it's a professional job it was sent out and done yeah and then somebody her uncle got it after that that's what somebody did that her uncle got it and Use it as a mail, it was a mail delivery truck and there's a flagpole on the other side. That is awesome. So that's its story. Uh, have you driven this? Oh yeah, no, it's sweet. Okay, well we'll have Just to go, for, we'll, Chevy go for, we'll go for a spin later, but uh, uh, we'll take right. a look at it. Thank you, Mike. So Sorry. you fill in the blanks and uncle died and no one knew where the key was. <laughs> and they started cleaning out the barn and they found the key on a nail on this post right here. And they said, hmm, maybe that key goes to this car. So they went in there and it turned. It didn't start because the battery was dead. So then they took it out and they got it restored. And this Quite is absolutely lovely. beautiful. Look at the headliner. And that's oh. you can tell that it's a professional. They're all like that. All the Ford, Chevy, Dodgers have that same headliner. But this is what it looked like when they found it in the barn. We have pictures of the inside. a factory built Suburban. It is literally flawless. It's a gorgeous car. It's owned by a, a little old lady up in Santa Barbara, somewhere around there. And right now it's just kind of hanging out with, uh, with Kathy, the girl in the pink. It looked good with my surfboard in it. <laughs> for a final kangaroo update right there. Kangaroo people. Oh, he's kind of cute. Very kangaroo-y. Good. Now the eyes aren't in permanently. They're just kind of held there, but he's got a cute smile. He's got an awesome nose. Say hello to Kirby. 
Kirby the Kangaroo. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Great job. Look at that. <laughs> What's up? Stop chatterboxing. We got a car show to go to. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> What's wrong with my face? That's so nice. <laughs> What's wrong with yours? Look at from a distance. It looks punk like... one, punk two. Oh, okay. oh, Ken just broke the chair. All right. Thank no you, more. Ken. <laughs> it's a damn granola. It was a lot. <laughs> Morning, people. I got Ken. I got Kathy. Kathy, why are you sitting in the back? Why don't you come and sit up here with us? Because you wouldn't let me. <laughs> Where are we going today, Ken? We are going to windmills and hills. That too. We're going to see windmills. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, there may be one windmill. We're going to Solvang, or um, uh, Ken calls it windmills and wheels. That's where we're going. What? Is that where we're going? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, wheels and windmills. I don't think it matters. It's a car show in Solvang, and uh, I went to it a few years ago. Kathy and I went to it. You did? No. Yes, you did. I did? Yes, you did. Did I have fun? Did you have fun? Probably not. There's lots of, uh, you know, Danish people, Swedish people. So that's a plus. And lots of pastries, which I think Ken will enjoy. Thanks for that. Yeah. Um, there's, there's also a horse. There's one There's horse. Horses. One I horse. One horse. <laughs> no, definitely. There's a little mermaid in, in Solvang, so we're going to go check that out too. And the cars are going to be spectacular, so. in Solvang looking around for Ken. We are pretty much putting cards on cars for our show, Wheels and Waves. But there's some really smoking hot rides at this show. Check this out. That's cool. Uh, okay, if you guys spot Ken, let me know. And also Kathy. She's around here somewhere. She's wearing turquoise, so as long as I don't get her mixed up with a turquoise car, it's all good. Wait, is that her? We're still looking for Kathy. We're looking for all things turquoise because we know she's around here somewhere. Uh, that's not, that's kind of turquoise, but that's not Kathy. I think you should just start screaming her name, see what happens. All right. Kathy! Scared the, scared the crap out of Kathy.
Solvang is Danish, right? I think so. Danish? Yeah. I know they have Danish pastries. and then Ken has something he wants to show us that's also in Montecito on the way back. And um, at Giordana's work is a place called Catherine Design. Right, Ken? Yes. Very designy. And look, it's Kathy. <laughs> Where's Giordana? She's wearing orange. There she is. Mm. It's a very colorful place. <laughs> For sure. Look. Tur turquoise, turquoise, all the way down to her toes. toes. <laughs> toes. And then, of course, Jordana has her orange shoes, and then her orange top, and then her orange earrings. Compliments, at least. Yeah, absolutely. Montecito Inn in downtown Montecito off of Village Coast Road. This hotel was built by Charlie Chaplin back in 1928. Pretty awesome. Ken's been here before. He thought we would enjoy it. Go check it out. Kathy. Ken. Kathy. Oh. I can kind of hear you pretty well. I love my voice in here. I know. Aww. Sounds great. <laughs> Pardon me. Do you have any great performance? <laughs> Creepy cool. Built in the 20s. I like it.
Podcast Philip.